hello and welcome in this tutorial. I would like to make a short version of this tutorial where I show you how to make this grunge background, but this grunge background, what's great in it, that it isn't just a texture over the entire slide, because we just have a small portion of this texture. Okay, how would we approach this? The important thing is that you don't simply drag and drop this texture here. Because this way you cannot change the transparency of the actual texture. You can only change like fill elements or gradient fill, which isn't the case to do here. What you can do, you can select insert shapes. You can insert a shape that will be big like this entire slide. Shape outline, no outline. Then you can click on this shape, select picture or texture fill. <laughs> Don't mind this, this is from another of my uh, files. I'll select file and I select this grunge background. What do you have now is the possibility and ability to change the transparency because this is not a texture fill, this is not a JPEG. This is a shape which is filled with this texture. This way we can change the opacity of this shape and together with that the opacity of this grunge background. This way we have a grunge background which is slightly hovering over our background and we could stop our work here we could make it like that and we could put now text over it if you would like to just highlight a small portion of it you would need to select insert shapes and add another layer on top of it so i'm adding another layer on top of it let's say that i want to highlight the left side shape outline no outline and here you want to select gradient fill the very basics here would be to select two white colors and you can add colors and you can remove colors like this in PowerPoint. But I'll select the first color white, the second color white. And one of those colors needs to be a bit transparent. To make this easier for me to work, I'll make it 100% transparent. And I can see now the left side is being a tiny bit transparent. Depending on where I put the second color, this far the white will reach. As you can see in, on the slide, if I put it very close, I have only a small portion transparent. And this could also be a very nice effect. Let's say we have the less left side transparent like here. I add another two colors and the second color will be also transparent. Look at that. The left and right side is now a bit transparent. This is how you can make very nice grunge or any texture overlays just on a portion of your of your slide. If you're asking how to make this left corner for example grungy and transparent and the rest white, it's no problem. You just turn this gradient over. You can turn either by clicking on the direction and the problem is that we don't really see it because we have only white colors here or just pick on the angle and just click on it around. You can see this transparency goes around the slide. All right, remember that you can always make this small. Here, for example, I just used a trick like this to, to create a picture, but this could be any normal slide. For example, the left slide would be a picture and the right side would be a smaller gradient. Now, as you see, we have a small portion. And if I make this bigger, this portion gets a little, little bit bigger. So I can still close up with the second color I'll press Shift F5 and look how beautiful does the right side look. A really very interesting effect because we have just a portion of the texture which we could not normally achieve by not using those little tricks with transparency with gradienting. So this is something for you to remember. I hope this tutorial is fun to watch, helpful and you can replicate the steps yourself now. If you would like to learn more things or to how to create slides, you have of course plenty more videos in my playlist on YouTube. Or if you would like to learn PowerPoint, you can always check out my courses. All the links are in the description to my profile, to my courses. You not only gain the possibilities to learn PowerPoint, you also support me as a designer and as a content creator. So this is it. I don't force you to anything. Go ahead, open up PowerPoint try this out and see the power of beautiful textures on your slides. See you there.